Kings Louder. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, a long time ago I had this little go pad, and it was kind of like my little pit vehicle at the the drift events and stuff. And then I let uh, let somebody ride it at a drift event, and then he he kicked off the gas tank. And so you could see right here, you know, the I think there's like the pl well maybe the plastic. No, nope, there's no plastic in there, but there might be. I don't know. Anyhow, he uh, kicked it off and dicked it, and uh, so I'm gonna I ordered a tank. From the good old eBay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install that. So I'm gonna have a a run and go pet again. But yeah, then I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a rip. I hope as long as I have. Oh damn it! I don't know if I have any fuel for it. Pull off the wheel. And that's why you don't ever let anybody ride your dope shit around, bastards. Yeah, that's some dirty shit in there. Some real dirty shit. See what I'm gonna cut off the ends because they're kind of long anyhow, so. Well, there we are. Now this spindle looks like shit, though. Somebody was like doing a damn burnout or something on it, trying to get it to start. Yeah. And somebody else kicked off this guy. So that's good as well. Yeah, I'm gonna tighten up some more shit and then and maybe go for a rip. So I'm messing with the GoPad now. I got the you know gas tank and everything all hooked up. Just kind of cleaning up, you know, brake cleaning some of the crap underneath there. Put a new little uh, uh, bolt in that one because it was kind of wobbling around and tighten up the engine. 
But here's all the random crap I got. I got this little third bang support, which that'll basically just kind of go right in there. And uh, it'll actually give it give it a little bit more, an extra point. Whereas right there, you can see where it could, could probably just wobble. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the little exhaust on it that I got, which is this guy. So it's like a little OEM style. That other one was just too big and heavy, and you know the drift tracks and everything where we we go, it's just too too rattly and it just falls off and then it gets all loud and it's just stupid and obnoxious. So, got me some bolts, more bolts. Um, there's a little third bearing stuff, exhaust gasket, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So basically, the whole little uh, this whole little go pad revamp. Oh, and the little intake lid because I was missing that as well. But uh, so this whole little go pad revamp has cost me like a hundred bucks. I actually bought it a long time ago for a hundred bucks, but um, can't really find them in, uh, you know, around here. Recently I haven't, I haven't really seen any for sale. Been kind of looking here and there. You can see where that, that other broke off the actual back kind of case of the the engine right there. Um, so I just didn't like that, that whole pipe. But yeah, here's, here's some of the dirt that was kind of in it as well. Um, trying to figure out how to get this damn spindle off because it's like locked on there and uh, so I can put on this little third bearing support as well as the stupid uh, bolts are like all all watered out for the thing so I might have to tap the hole and then uh, you know put bigger bolts in it or something to, to actually get this thing on there but... alright so what I had to do uh, to get this because they come with these little bolts but I, I stripped the shit out of it previously so I had to tap it with the new little tap I had some extra long uh, Chinese Harbor Freight bolts that I you know kinda had to drill this guy open and then cut the gasket and do a bunch of dumb shit to get it to work but then I got the little third bank support on as well um, so that, that seems pretty nice so I got <laughs> so now I uh, now I pretty much just got to bolt the, the wheel and tire on it and then put the gas tank on it. I got some gas and it's time for a rip. Alright, so I just got the, well, got it filled up with gas and got the spindle adjusted a little bit. It was kind of spinning the tire a little bit at first. But, uh, but yeah. And I'll show you guys how to rip it around the shop, probably. Drift head, bud. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this little uh, little whole go head kind of getting it back on the on the road type of deal. Um, it seems like it's riding pretty good. It's making kind of this weird noise now. I think the you know I might have to realign that whole situation in there or tighten it back up. But, uh, but yeah, so far so good. Uh, the exhaust is is staying on, which is really nice because that's one thing I hated about that other exhaust is you'd ride it around for about five minutes. And then it would just rattle off because it didn't have, you know, enough supports and stuff that, and it actually broke, like I said, it broke that back case right there. So this one's nice and quiet. Um, you know, I got that little OEM filter box and a little, few little upgrades, you know, the third, third bearing support in there. So, uh, seems to ride good. But, uh, but yeah, so that, that, uh, should do this, uh, this midweek video. So, and this will, this will be, you know, basically my little, little pit bike at the drift events and stuff, so. I always loved riding it around because it's, it's just so simple because you don't have to kick it or, you know, anything. You just kind of push start it and just go and then you come to a stop and it dies and then you, you push start it and it goes. And it's real simple and, and pretty nice to, to cruise around.